But first, our big story at nine, more than 760 years in prison on top of six consecutive life sentences for the man who drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Daryl Brooks gets the maximum sentence. The judge throwing the book at him and reading the names of each of the 68 people he hit. Our Sam Kramer was there. He joins us live. And Sam, her decision came after one last chance for Brooks and his family to speak today. Yeah, hi there, Mary. Daryl Brooks spent nearly all of two hours talking about himself, essentially blaming his own mental illness for what happened. He stopped short of apologizing for what happened that night, but he said he is sorry for what happened. The judge, Doro, saw right through that. In fact, she punctuated his sentence as strongly as she could. On the final day of his sentencing, what happened on November 21st, 2021 was not. He stands defiant again. Not not an attack. Daryl Brooks spent two hours crying, describing his family upbringing and blaming his mental health struggles for what happened during last year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. He included this brief apology. Not only am I sorry for what happened, I'm sorry that you could not see what's truly in my heart. Yet Judge Jennifer Doro says the court and the community have already seen who Brooks truly is. I waited patiently for an apology, a true apology. I didn't get it. And not for my benefit, but for the victims. For weeks, Doro sparred with Brooks, who represented himself over court matters, his questioning of jurisdiction and authority, and his disrespect for the court. Doro says it was that behavior that proved to her Brooks couldn't blame his mental illness for killing six and injuring 62 others that night. He is fueled by anger and rage. Some people, unfortunately, choose a path of evil. And I think, Mr. Brooks, you are one of those such persons. Count by count. One life sentence for Virginia Sorensen. She sentenced him as strongly as she could. <laughs> Doro drew applause from a courtroom full of victims and ensured he knew the name of every person he hit in accordance with all 76 counts. Frankly, Mr. Brooks, no one is safe from you. This community can only be safe if you are behind bars for the rest of your life. District Attorney Sue Hopper told us afterward her team and the victims appreciated the sentiment. That was uh, really tremendous. The victims are very grateful for that, that she um, respected and cared about each one of them enough to name them. And the end result, knowing Brooks will never step foot outside of prison again. It just brings a lot of closure to everybody in the community and even my family. Uh, Judge Doro also spent a lot of time recapping so many of the victim impact statements we heard yesterday in court. She called a lot of these victims heroes, not just for their actions that night or in the months that followed, but also for so many who were brave enough and were called to take the stand with Brooks there to cross-examine them. Now, speaking of Brooks, we've known all along he intends to appeal. He has 20 days to file a notice of his intent to do so. We're live tonight in Waukesha, Sam Kramer. Fox 6 News. As it stands tonight, Daryl Brooks will die in prison. We'll see that what his next move is. All right, Sam, thanks.